It's a crime and a story that has stayed under the radar until now. A story of extreme stalking that turned violent when a Fairfax County veteran was nearly killed by bullets fired into his home. Now, after five years, the man accused will soon be facing his punishment. In a story you'll only see here on News 4, our Northern Virginia Bureau Chief, Julie Carey, takes a look tonight at the painstaking investigation and talks to the victim who survived against all odds. A warning, this story contains graphic video and images that some might find disturbing. Here's where it happened. We got one, two, uh, three was over here. And the fourth one, I'll, I can't find. Four bullets that forever changed Jeremy Timon's life. Four bullets from an automatic rifle fired directly into his home by a virtual stranger. Four bullets that tore Jeremy's body apart. The power uh, did, did the damage to me that you see here mostly. Um, you know, um, two bullets went through my abdomen. One severed my stomach almost clean off. There's a giant void in my brain, big black spot. And it's about, I lost approximately 10 to 15% of my brain matter. The gunman, Navy veteran Jay Young Lee, just convicted this month by a Fairfax County jury. Patel's on the board from five years ago, man. You had to go back five years to get you Patel's, but we got you, motherfuckers. Y'all on the board. For Jeremy Timon and his loved ones. I mean, Tigers, my bad, Tigers. Month by a Fairfax County jury. For Jeremy Timon and his loved ones, it has been more than five long years waiting for justice of recovering from catastrophic injuries. You know, the easiest thing to do is to just not think about it as much because that'll bring you down pretty quick. It all started with the ringing doorbell the evening of October 21st, 2017. Jeremy was in the lower level of his town home playing darts with a friend, a Marine and Navy veteran. Jeremy was working as a political policy analyst for a Department of Defense contractor. As he climbed the stairs to answer the door, gunfire, bullets striking him, knocking him down the stairs. This photo from the trial showing the bloody aftermath. As I walked through the doorway of the finished basement downstairs to head to the stairs to come up, and that's... Then next thing I know, I'm waking up in the hospital. Investigators quickly identified an active duty Navy man, Jay Young or Jay Lee, as their suspect after Jeremy's friend told police she and Lee had recently broken up. During the trial, jurors heard. Oh, shit. He was over there kicking over the homies. That's a girl. <laughs> Listen, some man can't, some man can't hit you, hit the side of a barn from fucking half a block away. This guy shoots through a fucking window and kisses this guy. Every fucking bullet hits this guy. Uh, two shots, we say, at least. Unbelievable. Friend told police she and Lee had recently... Yeah, I said there ain't no differences between the groups. Up. During the trial, jurors heard a recorded call police asked her to make to Lee the day after the shooting to see if he might confess. Did you hear about the guy that got shot in Alexandria? I was there. What? Yeah. Are, are you okay, Jenny? Then she pressed Lee on whether he could have pulled the trigger. Can you please say that you were not involved in this? I had absolutely nothing to do with this. With no confession, Fairfax County detectives began an exhaustive investigation, initially able to get Lee behind bars after a search of his apartment revealed dozens of images of child pornography. As they scoured electronic devices, they discovered Lee had been stalking the ex-girlfriend. Evidence presented at trial showed he ordered a lock kit so he could get into her apartment. He planted a hidden nest camera so he could watch her movements. He used special software to gain access to her laptop and social media, tracking her and taking photos when she met up with friends. Hey, can you imagine a son doing that? No, hell no. This is, this is, I couldn't imagine a glider doing this. Glider wouldn't, like this guy's, these, these tigers are different, man. They're different, man. And stalking the ex-girlfriend. Evidence presented at trial showed he ordered a lock kit so he could get into her apartment. He planted a hidden nest camera so he could watch her movements. He used special software to gain access to her laptop and social media, tracking her and taking photos when she met up with friends. 
Investigators say the stalking then turned violent when Lee learned his ex was with Jeremy and set up outside this window and fired. And although he didn't manage to kill me, he, he killed my he killed the rest of me. You know, what, what made me, me, my career, everything else fell, fell to the ground and fell apart. Jeremy's coma yeah. lasted for weeks. Uh, this Asian man did more work than most of my family members have done in their whole life. Over this one, just stalking, just stalking them. <laughs> <laughs> like, geez, I'm getting exhausted just listening to you know what he all had, what he did. I'm like, wow, yeah. that's... They're, 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 they're different, man. They're different group, man. They're different bunch, man. He was in the hospital for months. God talked to me in my coma. He said, do you want to live or die? And in that moment, in that question, I had all the things I haven't accomplished in my life flash before my face in the blink of an eye. And I said, live. And then I woke up from the coma. We can't show you most of the pictures of his injuries. The head wound left his skull on one side flattened, something he sometimes covers with a ball cap, sometimes not. Still at traffic light, you'll see people looking at you like they don't, like they're looking at an alien. I mean, who's ever seen anybody with a brain injury where your skull is actually missing? Jeremy's abdominal wound was so severe, he lost his intestines and can no longer eat. The wound left open for years, just finally closed up during several surgeries in March. These boxes of liquid nutrition arriving at his home every week, hours each day spent in... Jesus Christ. That f he fucked that guy up, man. That's why you, get, you can't mess with nobody's girl, man. Jesus Christ, man. Lost his intestines and can no longer eat. The wound left open for years, just finally closed up during several surgeries in March. These boxes of liquid nutrition arriving at his home every week, hours each day spent infusing them. Jeremy's parents, who had just retired, now back on the job as his full-time caregivers. There was a time when we had to prepare 18 syringes a day, every day. The years of recovery shadowed with anxiety over whether Lee would be found guilty of his crimes. A jury delivering that answer earlier this month, finding Lee guilty of all seven charges. Jeremy and his family breaking into tears with the verdict. The trial alone was an emotional roller coaster that you know I don't wish on anybody. Hearing the verdict would, uh, brought it all out. And think about it. Where's that girl at, man? Is she? She and of course she's she's with she someone else. Yeah, I mean, of course she was. She's with, she's with some rich guy, man. Somewhere yeah. else. Yeah, but it wasn't even like they were like a thing. It's like he was just like a rebound. Had she had just got the rebound, like it was like pow. As soon as he got the rebound, it was like I didn't. I was not if, if I'm with if I'm with a girl and she starts to tell me about any the tiniest little bit of drama with her ex, I am so out of there in two yeah. seconds. Salute to um weather. He says, "What's up, OG? Get some rest because Juneteenth is coming soon." I have a feeling you're going to have plenty of content. The side continues. Yeah, man, Juneteenth. Yeah, let let me get it. Let me. Let, I'm glad they're locking this tiger up, man. Lock this tiger up, man, for, for, for fucking the rest, for as long as possible. That, that guy looks that guy looks tough though, man. Like he was like one of the Viet Cong or something, man. Yeah, he's a rough looking tiger, man. Breaking into tears with the verdict. The, the trial alone was an emotional roller coaster that you know I don't wish on anybody. Hearing the verdict was brought it all stuff, out. And oh. I think after the second uh the second charge was was announced, I was I was a Oh, oh, that's him. That's him doing that to the mic. Damn. Mess. Then he looked at Lee to see the shooter's reaction. There was nothing there. I'm like, this guy's got no soul. Jeremy and his family crediting the detectives, prosecutors, and victim advocates for delivering the justice they'd been seeking. They were all top-notch from the detectives to the prosecution team. Everybody, they're, they're the, the best Virginia has to offer. One thing that still frustrates Jeremy, Jay Lee was given an honorable discharge from the Navy even after the investigation was underway. Prosecutors will be seeking a life prison term, at least sentencing in October. Mm -hmm. As for Jeremy, he's hoping he might eventually become eligible for a transplant that will enable him to eat once again. And he hopes to even maybe return to work someday. Just amazing, Julie. His strength it yeah. defies reality and all, and all odds. Yeah. My 
goodness, the strength, his perseverance, person. and yeah. he has an amazing sense of humor in spite of it all. How about Jenny? Whatever happened with her? You know, she asked that we keep her identity confidential, but mm -hmm. obviously this has been an extremely traumatic yeah. experience for her to the 911 call she made that night, the most dramatic I've ever heard, yeah. but she helped save his life, giving yes. him care and putting a tourniquet on that wound, wow. at wounds after he was shot. Wow, just so many lives. Good thing was he wasn't hanging on with the sister. Yeah, if he was with a sister, that's the dead. <laughs> Salute the... Um... Hey, hey. 